Hey there, folks. Welcome back. Political promises. Political promises. Believe it or not, you've been hearing the exact same political promises for decades. Literally for decades. In a moment here, I'm going to show you some vintage... I guess you could technically call it vintage, since the oldest one I think I have is about 1991, 1992, if I'm not mistaken. Probably 1992 from uh, President Bill Clinton. But these people have been making the same promises for decades and people keep voting for these people based on those promises thinking they're going to get something because that's really the core of everyone's interest what's in it for me right they think they're going to get something and they never get it but then they'll vote for these people again or they'll vote for this party again kind of picking on democrats a little bit here because these are democratic commercials they seem to be the most consistent with offering the exact same things over and over and never actually following through. Not that the Republican Party is any better, quite frankly. You know, I'm not a Republican. I'm not doing this to try to blow up Republicans. But it's kind of easy to pick on Democrats because they follow a very precise formula. And it's kind of obvious, at least to me, and for some reason, a lot of people just don't seem to see it. What do they offer you? They offer you better wages. They offer you, uh, they, oh, we're going to stomp on crime. We're going to fight crime. We're going to create jobs. We're going to improve health care. Uh, we're going to put more money into education. Uh, we're going to tax the rich. We're going to make them pay their fair share on and on. They never actually do any of it, do they? They never actually do because none of that actually benefits them. And if they did give it to you, they're going to take more from you than what they're giving. And that's the part that a lot of people don't get. And even though they see this, they see the same promises being made over and over, and they see it's lip service, and they see that you really can't trust these people, all politicians, quite frankly, they don't learn. <laughs> they just don't learn. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at Obama. I believe the only way to create an economy built to last is to strengthen the middle class, asking the wealthy to pay a little more so we can pay down our debt in a balanced way, so that we can afford to invest in education, manufacturing, and homegrown American energy for good middle class jobs. Sometimes politics can seem very small, but the choice you face, it couldn't be bigger. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. So does any of that sound familiar? Have you heard that recently from anyone else? Does it sound familiar? It should. Let's take a look. Let's go back about another 10 more years or so. Let's go to the mid-90s. And this is a senatorial commercial from a prospect called Mascara. His last name was Mascara. Let's listen to what he had to say. Desperate to get to Washington, Mike McCormick signed a contract with Republican leader Newt Gingrich. But the contract McCormick signed would cut taxes for the rich and lead to cuts in Social Security benefits for seniors. Maybe Mike McCormick doesn't understand. We need a congressman to fight for working families, not against them. Frank Mascara, a son of southwestern Pennsylvania, Mascara's created or saved 12,000 jobs. Mascara will stand up for seniors and crack down on crime. Frank Mascara, a Democrat we can depend on. How's that? Haven't had enough yet? I'll give you one more. Let's look at Bill Clinton's original commercial. Government just isn't working for the hardworking families of America. We need fundamental change, not more of the same. That's why I've offered a comprehensive plan, a real plan to rebuild America, create 8 million new jobs, invest in education and job training, ensure quality, affordable health care for all. We're going to ask the rich to pay their fair share so the rest of America can finally get a break. A plan to put government back on your side. Read it yourself. Together we can make America work again. Did you hear anything familiar in that one? Does it all sound like the same thing over and over again? Um, education and, and job reform and more jobs and tax the rich and blah, blah, blah. Because they've been saying the same thing for decades. It's a broken record and it does not happen. It doesn't get done. And once again, I'll warn you, be careful what you wish for. Because if they do give this stuff away, if they do do everything that they 
claim they're going to do, they're going to take more than what they give. They're going to take more than what they give. I'm going to remind you what Gerald Ford said. A government big enough to give you everything you want is big enough to take from you everything you have. Very, very true. And, you know, there's always the argument. Let me just run this over real quick before someone brings it up. They always sit there and say, well, uh, we couldn't do what we wanted to do because Republicans, and then, of course, Republicans do the same thing. Oh, we couldn't do what we needed to do because the Democrats. And then you have a sitting president who signs executive orders and just choo, 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 does whatever the hell they want, right? And we've seen a lot of that from, especially from Obama, Trump, and now Biden, just signing stuff off. And as the other day, uh, even Biden said, oh, I'm not even sure what some of these are. Moron. <laughs> are you kidding? Or is he serious? I think that guy is a lot smarter than he lets on. I, I, think, uh, I think you're all being fooled. These people didn't get where they are by being stupid, believe me. No matter how dumb AOC or Nancy Pelosi or any of them seem, they're smarter than you think. It's a, it's a game. You're, you're, you're being fooled. But you see my point. They could do it if they really wanted to. But they don't. But they promise it to you. And people believe it. People actually believe it. And then when it fails, they promise it again. And they're like, okay, well, maybe this time. And it doesn't happen. It never happens. And they just promise this stuff to you over and over again. And people just don't learn. They don't learn. And it's a sad thing. It's a sad thing how easily fooled human beings are as a whole. Maybe not you. I'm sure there's a lot of people who watch this channel regularly that know better. But there's a lot of people out there that don't. But unfortunately, as I pointed out before, I'm kind of preaching to the choir. Because the people who really need to see and hear this probably will not. Because ScrewTube doesn't like me. <laughs> and they, they block me from searches. But what are you going to do? Any thoughts on that? Please feel free to post your thoughts in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope you did. Share it if you can. Probably the only way it'll get seen. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of the other videos. You know the routine. If you wanted to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and I sure do appreciate it. And hey, what more can I say but thanks for watching. And do stay tuned, because hopefully there is more to come.